a very warm greeting to all the viewers. Today's micro mantra is characteristics of immune response. I am your micro wizard, Dr. Dhruvil Brambhut, working as an assistant professor in Department of Microbiology in LJ Institute of Applied Sciences. But before we begin, let's have a brief introduction to understand what immune response a human body has. The immune system is widely composed of many cells that recognize the invaders, fight and neutralize or destroy them. Fundamentally, we distinguish these immune responses as innate or non-specific immune response and adaptive or specific immune response. The innate immunity holds the first and second line of defense against the foreign particles and prevent them to enter into our system. However, when it fails, that is when the second line of defense comes into the picture, which is adaptive immune response. The specific immune response has three major functions. To recognize foreign particles, respond to it, and remember the foreign invader. The immune system is able to distinguish one pathogen from another and to discriminate between self and non-self cells. After recognition of an invader, the specific immune response by amplifying and activating specific lymphocytes to attack it. This is called an effector response. A successful effector response either eliminate that foreign material or renders it harmless to the host, thus preventing disease. If the same invader is encountered again, the immune system is prepared to mount these intense response to eliminate the invader and protecting the host again. This is called amnestic response. Let's begin with the characteristics of adaptive immunity. There are five major features of adaptive immune response or in general immune response. First, discrimination. Second, specificity. Third, diversity. Fourth, memory. And fifth, transferability. Let's understand all of them in brief. First, discrimination. The adaptive or specific immune response always selectively responds to non-self and produces specific response against the stimulus. The unresponsiveness towards the self cells is known as tolerance. Whereas identification of non-self are responded and neutralized. Second, diversity. The adaptive immune system generates an enormous pool of molecules through B and T cells that can respond to large variety of antigens. There are more than 1 million types of B cell receptors and more than 10 million types of T cell receptors. Various pathogens are encountered in variety of forms such as bacteria, fungi, viruses, protists and multicellular parasites that exist in multiple strains with multiple surface features. The adaptive immune system is able to recognize these and respond to these pathogens specifically. It is surprising that each individual is capable of generating multiple millions of antibodies and T-cell receptors. Thus, Adaptive immune response is capable of recognizing different foreign antigens. It has the ability of generating enormous pool of cells to protect against diverse type of foreign invading particles. Going to the third feature which is specificity. It is the ability to distinguish between antigens. We have discussed earlier that adaptive immunity is selective in that it can be directed against one particular pathogen or foreign substance among trillions. This means that it reacts to each foreign antigen in a specific way. It recognizes the unique antigen or particle which are specific to a particular pathogen. Moving to the fourth feature which is memory. It refers to the ability to recognize and quickly respond to the previously encountered antigens. When re-exposed to the same pathogen or foreign particle, the adaptive immune response reacts so rapidly that there are no noticeable pathogenesis. The immune response has memory cells which triggers specific effective antibodies 
and T cell receptors which dynamically acts on recurrent pathogen the ability of immune cells to remember the previously encountered interaction against a specific antigen leads to memory cell formation which are useful to encounter these antigens on their re-exposure this form the basis of vaccination fifth feature of immune response is transferability the acquired immunity describes transferability feature of immune response when antibodies or lymphocytes that have been produced by some other individual is transferred to another individual it will react and respond to those specific set of antigens and eliminate them although this type of immunity is short lived but it is very effective to fight invaders a common example is antibodies from mother to fetus through placenta another common example is feeding the newborn rostrum another example will be diphtheria antitoxin produced from horse given to humans or bone marrow transplant to an immunodeficient person and of course how can we forget the latest trend which is the plasma therapy for covid-19 patients now all these are examples of transferability feature of immune response so here i conclude this video tutorial i hope you might have gained the information related to specific immune response and its features the characteristic features of immune response are discrimination diversity specificity and memory along with transferability which makes all of us strong and resistant against most of the pathogens i hope and i wish all of you to have a strong immune response to fight against these pathogens stay safe and be productive thank you if you have any doubts do mention in the comment section below